everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Tiffany. And in today's video, I'm going to do a flip of my academic planner. This is an A5 uh, print impression in the classic collection. And um, I've done a flip of this before, but I thought I would provide some updates. So if you are new to my channel and it's coming off like this I'm sorry. This is kind of coming off like purple on camera, but it's it's definitely pink. I'm not really sure what's going on here today. My lighting situation is absolutely terrible. But um, to give you guys a little bit of context, especially if you're new to my channel, um, I am 36 years old, returning to school. Um, I graduated with my undergrad in 2007. So it's been about 14 years <laughs> since I've been in school. Um, I do work full time in a leadership capacity. Um, I also am a mother to two children and, you know, married, have a house, all these different responsibilities. And I'm also in a full-time graduate program at a local university to get my master's degree. Just a lot of hats that I wear. Um, and so it's essential for me to have some type of organization. Now, it's not perfect and it's not always the greatest and I do, you know, struggle sometimes to like turn stuff in on time and things of that nature, but this has been um, really helping me to stay on, stay on task essentially and, and, you know, be as successful as I possibly can. Um, and I think that that's what's important. Uh, so, and because, um, life is often busy, um, it's, I also feel like it, for me, it works to have a separate planner for, for just school stuff because my personal ring planner that I show on my channel, um, is already chocked full of everything else, um, going on in life. So this just kind of helps me organize, um, my thoughts and, um, and all of that. I've done a flip before and none of the deco honestly in here has changed. Um, so I'm going to quickly go through all of that because that's not really the, the significant aspects of this planner. It's really like the guts and the, um, you know, the inserts that I have in here. So I just have like this, I don't know where this is from, but I just have like some cards from various shops in here. I have some drops in here and then I also have like these flags in here, um, that I got from Amazon, um, they come in like a pack of several. So I have some stickers in there. And then this was just, I thought it was a cute card um, that came with a planner from Print Impression. So um, I just have that tucked in there. Uh, the majority, if not all of my decorative dashboards are from CZQ Plans and I do PR for her. So I'll leave my coupon code down below if you're interested. Um, so I have this vellum. And like I said, all from CZ. That one's really pretty. And then I have this one. I think she's adorable. I have this inbox here that just has like some information on there that I may need to reference. It's not really like stuff I reference on a daily basis, but it's there in case I need it along with some tabbed sticky notes. Um, originally the plan was to use this as like a checklist slash to-do list. I haven't used it since the summer in all honesty um, and probably won't use it. I just have it in here just in case if I need a brain dump or something like that. But the bulk of my planning in here lives on my monthlies and my weeklies. Um, so these are from File Effects and I have several, several, several of those. I have my acceptance letter. I have like my course, my course uh, requirements in order to obtain the degree. And then I have this from, I think this is Hey Planner Girl. Um, these are like, I guess, uh, holidays. I think that's from Hey Planner Girl too. I may be wrong. And then um, I have these. So then I have like these dividers and these actually came in a sub box from Cloth and Paper. I think it was when they gave that um, clear PVC A5 planner that I absolutely hated, but I really like these dividers. Um, so this moves into my monthly section. So I have another vellum from Suzy. And then I have this here. I have this yearly overview, which is a freebie from Sammy's Planner. If you're an A5 or A6, I believe, she has a ton of amazing freebies on her Instagram. And I'll leave that link down below if you want to reference that. Um, and then I have it clip, clipped to go straight to my monthly. But I'm going to unclip that so you can kind of see how I utilize this. So I started the program in the summer and this was in my previous flip, but I use these um, bullet journal dots that I got from Amazon. I'll link them if you're interested. Um, and that was kind of like my color coding system. There was a copy of my key that I just made on a sticky note. 
And then I, you know, I have like a, like an overview, like a monthly view of um, when assignments were due and such. And then the fall semester started in August. And I, for context, I'm taking, I'm full time in this program because I was like, I can't do this any longer than a year. Like I was like, I got to knock it out. I can sacrifice for a year and, and be exhausted for a year, but I don't know that I would make it a second year, to be honest with you. I probably could, but I, I don't want to, is, is what I'm saying. So with that being said, I take five, I'm, I'm taking five classes in two skills labs um, this fall semester. And so uh, my skills labs are once a month on Saturdays via Zoom. It's like from eight to five. And they're, yeah, after you've worked all week long, it's kind of exhausting. Um, those weekends are rough for me. But I will say that I had to kind of change my system because a lot of stuff started coming due. So I'm going to show you guys what I got um, from Amazon to... Um, but I found these, uh, they're free color spot. They're, they're just like, they're very similar to the Zig Clean Dot markers, but they're a lot cheaper. Um, so this is my new color coding system. And for me, it was just easier to like make a dot as opposed to like laying stickers down. That way it's like all color coded. So this was August. Uh, classes started this week in August. So as you can see, it wasn't a ton of stuff. Um, and then this was September. So as you can see, like the months are very full. Fridays are days where a lot of stuff, are, <laughs> a lot of stuff is due. And so if it's highlighted, it means it was turned in. And then if I drew a line through it, it was like because they the the instructor uh, extended the deadline. This was October. October was extremely stressful. There were a lot of like big papers due, and a it was just a lot of work. Um, but as you can see, it's just so much stuff is due. And a lot of these assignments are time consuming because they require like research and, you know, writing of papers and cita APA citations and all that, all that fun stuff in school. Um, and then this is November. Uh, so this is what I'm working on. I counted last week. I have five weeks left um, of this semester um, and I'm in the first week of the five weeks. So I'm looking forward to it, but I have a lot of really big assignments coming due within the next couple of weeks. Um, but having like this color coding system where like I know based off of my key and my key is on here on my sticky note. It's just helping me kind of have an idea of what I need to do, what I need to focus on, you know, like this paper due on the 11th is a big paper and it's going to require a lot of time and work. So I'm going to have to probably spend a couple of days on that one. Um, so yeah, it's just like a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to get ahead this week um, on my assignments. And then this is the last week. So, like I said, using like these dots just to kind of sort through. I'm a very visual person, so it helps me to kind of sort through what is what is due. Um, I think this is an infin infinite lotus vellum, and then that's from Susie. And then these are my weeklies, another Susie dashboard. So, I left all of my weeklies in here. I didn't pull them out or anything because I kind of wanted a record of what worked for me and what didn't work for me. Um, in the summertime. And so basically the way I use these weeklies, these weeklies are from Peanuts Planner Co. They're a freebie. Now Peanuts Planner Co. does not offer a five size, but I just size these or these are half letter and I print them on um, a five pre cut pre punch paper that I got from Amazon. And these basically serve as, um, they're definitely on my plans, but also kind of like almost task management. Like I have you know, the way I envision this, because this is the way my brain works, is like, okay, I know when stuff is due, okay, but I also like to have, like, um, I like to break down my tasks to know what I need to do to accomplish something, especially if it's a bigger thing. So, you know, I break down, like, my readings and all that stuff, and then this, I draw a line through to this column. I think I have a blank one. See, like, this is, I guess, designed to be a to-do list. I just kind of carry the line over, and these are the due dates. So, I know within that week what is due and so what I should be working on, and I I carry over that color coding system to this weekly. Um, so, again, it's like the highlighting system. There are sometimes like, I'll put stuff down, and I don't get to it. Um, you know, because of life. And sometimes, like, I have to be realistic with my time. Like, there are some evenings where I can spend a couple of hours on studying and schoolwork, but there are some evenings 
um, for whatever reason, because of, you know, because I'm a mom and, um, or because like I had to work late or something like that, that I may not have that much time to spend on schoolwork. So I have to kind of stay on top of it. It also helps me, um, in all honesty, and I have to give credit, um, to this is I have a, a great support system. I have an amazing and supportive husband who has really taken on even more responsibilities than he already has to, to support me in this endeavor. I also have parents who, you know, give me breaks and come and get my kids so that I can have um, a break or they'll let them spend the night so I can, you know, get some rest or work on a paper or whatever. So I have to give credit there is it's, it's been extremely helpful to have that support system because if I didn't have that support system, I really don't know how successful I would be. Um, but you know, this, this, those are kind of like those external factors, right? And these are my internal factors. This is like the things I have control over as far as like scheduling my time, staying on top of like my due dates and assignments. I haven't missed an assignment yet. I haven't turned in anything late. So it's working for me. Now there are days, I'm not going to lie, that I am extremely stressed out because it's overwhelming and I'm turning stuff, you know, the papers due at 11.59 and I'm turning it in at 11.35 p.m., you know. But, again, it's kind of getting to, you know, it's it's getting me through this. this. Um, and then this is the current week that we're on. So, as you can see, I went ahead and tried to plan because I know Tuesday, like, I have a good chunk of time because the kids are at gymnastics and I'm home alone and it's quiet. So I can get a lot accomplished on Tuesday evening. So I usually kind of pull in a lot of like um, stuff on Tuesdays. Wednesday, I made it a heavy Wednesday because Thursday I actually have to work late. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff to do on Friday. So I just kind of have to plan accordingly. Um, and that also kind of goes with like having that open communication with the family. Like, hey guys, I got a bunch of stuff to do on Friday. So I'm going to need you to help me out. And having that support system has been extremely helpful. I'm just rambling. Sorry, guys. But this is what works for me. So, as you can see, like, for example, I have a flip grid. I don't know if you guys have to do this. I hate flip grid, by the way. Um, I have a flip grid due tomorrow. So, I kind of broke down what I need to do in order to, sorry, had a phone call, in order to, you know, do that. And then I need to read these assignments because I have a paper due on Friday. Um, so, you know, again, breaking down the, the steps or the tasks I need to complete in order to achieve that goal is basically what I do on these weeklies. And that's why these weeklies are functioning well for me. I went ahead and filled out my weeklies for the rest of the semester. I did that last night. That was a goal of mine. So everything that's coming due is already on these weeklies. So I know what's, what's coming up. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then this is like, kind of like my notes or whatever section. Um, have another like vellum and dash from Susie and then some notes pages. Usually once I write on a notes page, if I don't need it, I chunk it. Like I don't always keep them. Um, and then in the back here, I have this, which is really cute. But in the back here, I have like these tabs from Filofax and they have like um, these numbers on them, but I use these cloth and paper page flags and write the course number down so that I can have a copy of the syllabus and the course um, schedule in here for reference if need be. Um, so I have my five classes here and then my two skills labs back here. And that's pretty much it. I have like some important papers in the back pockets that I can't really show. But um, that's what's in there. Um, and again, not claiming perfection, but this is like the tool that's helping me so much at the moment with um, being successful in graduate school. And then I want to say I kind of started using my Stalogy a little bit more. I didn't use it a whole lot this summer. Um, so my daughter drew a picture there. So I was using this for notes and such. Um, so here's kind of what I'm doing now. So I have like, this is what I did. So someone was like, what did I, what did I accomplish? Cause I feel like sometimes I need to go back in and see what I accomplished. And I just draw lines, like it's nothing fancy. And then I do a weekly review. And then within that week, uh, that's where all my notes live. Okay. So that's all notes. And then here's my weekly again for the week of October 11th through the 17th. 
And then this is where like I'm taking notes for classes um, and stuff like that. So it's been helping me like kind of keep everything sorted. So, and like sometimes I'll, you know, like not every page is completely filled in, but it's easy for me to like reference them based off of the week that we're in. And then here's some more notes. And I just jot whatever, like some of it doesn't even make sense um, to some people. And then this is the current week and I haven't taken any notes. I was working on stuff yesterday, but I didn't have to take any notes. Um, so these are like my two things, but I like having all of my notes in here um, and then having them sorted uh, by week. Um, it's not my course, it's by week. So all I have to do is kind of like reference like what's going on because I'm not so far ahead on stuff to be honest with you that like I'm doing anything a week or two in advance. I wish I was at that point, but I'm not. Um, so it's just nice. Like I know, you know, like this information was really helpful for me because I knew I, I listened to the Sway lecture um, for this quiz that I took on Friday. So I was able to easily reference my notes there for that quiz. Um, and they were highlighted. So I just kind of use whatever highlighters. I use a lot of these. Um, I have this pack of mild liners that I use for my highlighting. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, in all honesty, what is keeping me focused and on track for graduate school. Next semester, thankfully, is going to be a lot less um, strenuous. So I'm thankful for that because... It, it will be helpful. I, I go into like my field placement semester. So I only have like field placement plus two classes and one of them is an elective. Um, so this is my last academic heavy semester. Um, but I hope you found that information helpful. I know it was kind of rambly, but I feel, I felt like maybe like if it could help someone, you know, it was a lot of trial and error for me to be honest with you as to like what worked and what didn't work, but break, you know, having the monthly view, these are my tips, I guess, if you want to hear my two cents. Um, having this monthly view of what all is due is helpful because it kind of helps me get an idea of like how, how, how strenuous uh, life is going to be um, in that month. October, like I said, was a rough one. Um, and then having the weekly breakdown of what is due within that week and what I need to accomplish to hit these due dates. Um, yeah, that's honestly what's been helping me. And then I use these, um, these are RSVP pens. These are like, you can get a two pack for a dollar at Walmart. So that's what I use to write in. Um, I feel, I found that those are the best pens for Stalogy paper. And then I just had an extra one. So I keep it in here. And if I lose it, it's not a big deal because it's only a buck. Um, <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, comment those down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope you have a fabulous day.